Recently, I feel like I've been gaining more clarity as to why I experienced the anxiety that I experienced growing up. And I think that it had to do a lot with just getting consumed by other people's energies, right? People that were unhealthy, unstable, and unsafe, getting consumed by their energies. And that's really a result of not having boundaries. If I had boundaries, which I didn't, I wouldn't have so easily gotten consumed by other people's energies. And this goes back into, you know, everyone has a frame, right? And this is basically boundaries, right? Where, where you begin, where you end, and that's you. And then there is the, um, I suppose you could call it the intersubjective space between you and other people, right? And their energy is their stuff, but based on somebody's trauma and if they, um, you know, if, if they learned boundarylessness, if they learned to get sucked into other people's energies and everything, um, people that are unhealthy, unsafe and unstable, uh, chaotic, unpredictable, very much about drama and gossip and everything, you're going to feel a very specific way around those people. There's a good chance that your heart rate is going to elevate. There's a good chance that you're going to start to feel uneasy. There's a good chance that you're going to start to feel uh, sensations in your body that are trying to tell you, you know, uh, red alert, run, right? Um, and when you don't have boundaries and you're not really familiar with you know, energies and stuff and what different energies mean and everything. And not only that, but you're also kind of like taught to be the rescuer that you need to be, you know, uh, involved in other people's energies and frames when you're not right. All of this stuff can very much lead to, um, anxiety. And I look back and I, I, I just, I kind of like, I reflect and everything and I sit with it and I'm like, yeah, the, the anxiety that I experienced um, was very crippling. And I recognized that I also spent time around a lot of people, uh, not going to name any names because <laughs> boundaries are important to me. Um, but uh, I spent a lot of time around people that were not healthy. They were not safe. They were not stable. Um, their energy was not inviting. And it's strange for me to say that too because... I think that there was a lot of manipulation there, right? Of course, the energy was not inviting, but manipulation does things to people. And it kind of like reels people in, it lures people in. And with that, it's very easy to get kind of like consumed by other people's energies. Um, so yeah, like at this point in my life, you know, uh, in my journey of healing, um, or I should say on my journey of healing, I've started to recognize safety in people and it feels different than it used to. And as I continue to heal, I also recognize unsafety in people. Um, I, I, I recognize it when people are trying to pull me outside of myself and not just accepting the, uh, the no that I present them with when it comes to, you know, my boundaries and everything. Um, the safety that I'm recognizing with people is actually very interesting and it makes me want to be, uh, you know, in an environment with them because again, it's safe when, when you're, when you're healing, safety feels different when, when you are caught up in trauma, um, unsafety or a lack of safety or chaos feels a very specific way. It feels like home for you. So you don't really look at it and you think like, oh, this is not good for me. It's familiar to you. So you're like, okay, this is normal to me, right? Um, you seek that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it, it's just so interesting to take a step back and like recognize like, oh, yeah, interesting. I, uh, I experienced so much anxiety in my life growing up because I was consumed, I, I allowed myself to be consumed by um, people's energy, uh, people's energies who were not safe, who were not stable, who were not healthy, 
right? And that's why I experience the anxiety. Be- like when like when you think about it, right? Like if you um if you're around somebody and you hear them saying consistently, A shitstorm is coming, a shitstorm is coming, a shitstorm is coming, a shitstorm is coming, hey, did you know a shitstorm is coming? Hey, a shitstorm is coming, hey a shit like you're you're gonna like after a while you're gonna be like <sighs> Right? Like it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be overwhelming, right? And then the anxiety is going to come in, right? Um, but instead, when you're around somebody and their energy is suggesting hmm. just calm, stillness, peace, right? Those are two completely different uh energetic vibrations right there. You're going to feel good around the person who feels good and calm. Right? They they're not they're not running around like, <gasps> like a like a chicken with their head cut off. Shitstorm, shitstorm. Sti- no, 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 no. Chill. Just And this is why creating safety in the self bringing all of the focus, awareness, and energy of the self back into the self and into the body and grounding with that is so important. This is why uh, teaching children that is so important. Children don't... I, I, w- I would argue that probably a majority of children don't feel safe in their body because they're probably being raised in uh, environments of chaos, in, in homes where there is chaos and unpredictability, right? Um, in homes where they're not allowed to... Uh, be themselves, right? Their 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 parents have a very specific life, um, a very specific life laid out and designed for them, and maybe it's not something that they want. And with that, there's anxiety, and then of course you know depression. Um, we're very much pulled outside of ourselves, and this is often why we feel anxiety. I mean, people can feel anxiety for many different reasons. Like I was saying in another video. Um, Trauma is a very individually unique experience. What somebody feels is a very individually unique experience. Boundaries are to be set. (laughs) Boundaries are to be set. Let me reframe that. Um, Boundaries can be set from a place of authentic feeling, right? What you feel is going to be different from what somebody else feels. Um, So it's just very important to understand that. And the more that you sit with that and realize that if somebody else's frame and energies uh, are chaotic, they're unpredictable, you know, they're based in like drama and gossip and everything, um, they're unhealthy, they're unsafe, they're unstable, yeah, there's a good chance that anxiety is going to manifest.